Welcome everyone to our new podcast, which is all about thongs, which I think is amazing. I'm Andy. You know me from social media probably, and you know me from UNB. I've done several reviews. I'd also like to introduce my wonderful co-hosts and friends. First, give it up for Eric, Mr. Ondi's Geek. Hello. Hey, how's everybody doing? Good. And we've got Ryan here, Mr. Thongtastic Ryan himself. Hello. Hello. So I thought we'd start by first just talking about the fact that we're even doing this, I think is amazing because the popularity of thongs, especially in the past few years, has just really taken off, which for the three of us is an amazing thing. We absolutely <laughs> love it. So I I just want to acknowledge the fact that that we're even doing this, I think is amazing. And so oh, yeah. let's start let's start with that. So thongs obviously more popular. And I even think back to like myself five years ago, they were not like daily wear for me at all. Um shocking to a lot of people, but they've just really grown on me like a lot of others. So what do you guys think has led to the popularity of thongs for guys? I I think that I honestly think that it's I think it's a lot of younger people are more in tune with, you know, with showing skin and being more progressive in society um, and enjoying the the more relaxed side of life and getting more in tune with how how they live life freely and and that's both gay and straight you know i i've noticed in the last probably year or so more straight guys you know venturing into thongs than than anybody else more than gay you know gay guys so you know yeah. I, I think that that is really i think that the straight world really propels the underwear industry more than anybody else because there's more of them freely. That's not to say that there's more straight guys than there are gay guys, but I think that they dominate more of the market than anybody else. I think that's been the interesting thing for me is hearing from like you and from Tim that, you know, straight men especially have been embracing thongs more. Like that to me was unexpected, but really cool, I think. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Eric, what do you think? Why do you think we're seeing more thongs in the world for men? I think in I think kind of, kind of like what Ryan was saying is just, you know, it, it's becoming a little bit more mainstream for both men and women to be able to, you know, just kind of show off their body and be comfortable with who they are. You know, you you have that saying like, you know, if you if you got it, flaunt it. And, you know, I'm I, for one, have always been for that whole body positivity where, you know, if you're comfortable showing your skin, then by all means, go ahead and do so. And I think just with social media these days with, you know, like Instagram, Twitter, uh, I think just the popularity of it and the positivity that, you know, a lot of people get when they do it's just taking off a lot more than, you know, it used to, you know, five or 10 years ago. So I'm all for it, by the way. Yeah, I definitely agree with the social media aspect, especially. I mean, that's obviously been a huge component for me, like seeing more people wear them started getting me interested. And then I started showing off on them on my own pages. And then that led to more curiosity um, from guys as well. So I do think that's played a huge role, especially for gay guys, since that's primarily mostly my audience. Sure. Uh, yeah, I think it's been awesome to see that. And I love, love all of the, what I kind of call the thong curious guys that pop into my DMs with all these questions about, you know, what they should buy and what should they look for and even should they should they wear them and the answer of course is always yes so if anyone out there oh, yes. yes so if you're thong curious and you're out there listening and you're like i don't know maybe they're not for me they are for you if you want them to be right like you don't yes. have to look a certain way we all look very different ways and we all rock the thong so they oh, are yeah. for yeah, and I want to add to that, like, if there are any guys out there that, that want to try a thong but aren't quite sure, you know, what they what they should try, and they're maybe looking for somebody to 
to sort of coach them in the way of, you know, different types of thongs and what they should maybe try first. And maybe they should try a couple different types. Mm-hmm. The three of us are, are a wealth of knowledge of, of the different types of thongs that are out there. And I think we probably all have different opinions on what is the most comfortable of, uh-huh. of the thongs. We can all sort of provide a an insight into what to try, what brands to try, because not all brands are the first to go to, but certainly are, are options to go to in the future. So, Yeah, that's a really great point, because I think... You know, just like with any type of underwear, everyone's got different preferences and what they like and don't like. And I think between the three of us, we probably all have differences as well. Like I know between Eric and I, there's been a lot of things I like that he didn't and things that he likes and I don't. Part of it is just accepting a little bit of trial and error that you're you're going to have to try a few to find the one. But oh my gosh, when you find the one that fits perfectly. Yeah, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. Totally. And I found that more than once. I found, you know, I know which swim thong fits the best and maybe a different brand fits best underwear wise. I mean, Mr. S, Mr. S makes a great old thong that is incredibly sexy and feels amazing. They're super soft. They have a elastic waistband on them, an exposed elastic. I think at some point we'll probably get into, you know, the differences between an exposed elastic thong and a concealed elastic thong versus a swim thong and what the materials are and so but mr s makes a great exposed elastic thong and and there are other brands that make a great concealed elastic thong that both are very attractive attractive and comfortable but look very different so my mind has just been blown because i've never even like i've shopped through mr s but never for thongs and i'm literally on my phone right now looking at them like you've just oh, yeah. opened a whole new world for me so thank you <laughs> yeah. yeah the so it's i think it's the i hope they still sell it i honestly bought bought mine actually i didn't buy them my mom bought mine for christmas it was a i think it's called the mr s leather a lot not elastic just mr s leather bulge thong uh, i see it a just has a regular thing. race band on it yeah i'm seeing these they look good yeah. okay so your mom bought you that for christmas i think that's gonna have to be a whole podcast in and of itself <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was about I, to say. I, like, could, we, like, I could bring my mom on here and she'll tell you all about it. Like, she's been buying me jock straps, thongs, briefs for years now. She's, she just, like, literally last year, she summed it up really well. I, I'm a big fan of Nasty Pig. Nasty Pig doesn't sell thongs. Sadly. She, you're right. And we're trying to get, like, I've emailed them multiple times. She had missed the Nasty Pig sale, which she buys from every year for me for Christmas. <laughs> Um, in November for the the Black Friday sale and she messaged me she's like so I missed the sale is there like something else you want I was like well there's this other company but I don't want to really send you there and then she's like no it's whatever you want like I don't care where I where I shop for you I want to buy you stuff that you want that you wouldn't buy for yourself so I was like okay well go to Mr. S Leather these are the URLs to buy from and so you know she loved it and she actually she waited a little bit of time she went to dinner with her best friend and they did it together <laughs> so they made it an, ex- an occasion oh my gosh um, I love this and that's that sums up my mom so well because that's just the way that she does things. All right, so I'm making a note. Have Ryan's mom on sometime. <laughs> she she sounds amazing. Me. She wants to go on a gay cruise. She wants to do everything gay. So she's that, she's amazing. I am loving this. That is yeah. amazing. So let me ask you guys this, because obviously we're here because thongs are huge now, and I absolutely love that. But I also remember, like, they also were... I feel fairly popular or at least more visible, readily available in like the late 80s, early 90s. I remember as a teenager, my first thong was from Kmart. So like you could pick them up at Kmart and Walmart very easily. And yet- You still can. Okay, um, here here in the Midwest, well, there's no Kmart here anymore. Got it. But it's funny because I was even at Target a while back 
and I thought, let me just see what sort of brief they even have, because I expected I would not find a thong, but I could not even find a brief. Like, it is all boxer briefs. But that's kind of beside the point. Obviously, so they they were, like, easier to find, and then they kind of disappeared, and now thongs are coming back. So do we feel like what we're experiencing now is just another trend that's going to be here for a while and go away? Or do we feel like thongs are here to stay? Eric. Eric. I'm going to say that they're here to stay, quite honestly. Um, And and I I agree with you on that, like back in the day when they were easily available at Target, Walmart, Kmart. My first one was from Target. And I just remember being like scared out of my mind <laughs> and that somebody was going to see it in my shopping cart. But every once in a while, like I'll walk into the store and I'll be like, well, let's see if they have any there. And no, they don't. Um, I hell, I don't even see them anymore at the mall back at like JCPenney or Macy's in the Calvin Klein section. But I, I am seeing a lot more guys trying them, um, a lot more curious guys, uh, you know, as you were previously saying. And, uh, you know, I do occasionally get like the message saying like, hey, you know, I'm interested about trying a thong. And, you know, I kind of give them that same, um, you know, information like, you know, the first one may not be the best, but there are so many different different styles, different types. Like it it may take you a while till you find the one per se. I do see a lot more guys wear them. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that that popularity, you know, and both straight, gay, bi men just continue to do so. So I'm all for that. Yeah, Brian, what do you think? I, Trend I, or here? I think that they're they're here to stay. Yes. Um, I mean, based on based on the fact that like the trend that I see is things come into style and then they go out and then they come back. And typically when they come back, they're here to stay. And that's only from my expertise of like owning an underwear company and knowing the trends that, that we go through. I think that they're here to stay. I think more guys are, are keen to trying them with that said, you know, your comment about visiting target and not seeing anything there. I base I base the interest in underwear off of other styles of underwear. So the more that brands come out with new styles that may be close to a thong, for example, Walmart just got rid of their, they cleared out their entire underwear section. They went from like a nine pack sort of base to a six pack sort of base. Um, and with that, they had the Life by Jockey line and they got rid of Life by Jockey doesn't exist anymore. Um, and Hanes has taken over and they came out with a Hanes string bikini. Um, just the fact that they've come out with those shows that there's still an interest in sort of what I would call minimalist underwear. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that the next thing we'll see is Hanes coming out with a thong. And while, you know, those of us who probably listen to this podcast are not into Hanes for the loom, sort of those, you know, low end brands, those are the brands that sort of lay the foundation for the other brands to build upon. And I think that it's a really good sign that Hanes is coming out with a string bikini because that means that the interest is there and it will only grow from there. Yeah, I think you make a really good point. Like I was saying locally at least it's like you find only boxer briefs correct which was kind of sad i'm not even seeing briefs but knowing that they're coming you're absolutely right like as much as we're in tune to underwear and all that we still aren't necessarily the majority of shoppers and guys out there right and so yeah once you start seeing them even though they those might not be the thongs that we would buy right or i mean i'd probably actually buy it just to try it and see Um, same But yeah, like, because it is the people who are buying their groceries and just picking up a pack of underwear on their way out as well. Like once you reach sort of the mainstream retailer like that, it is really taking over the world. So I also agree that I think that these are here to stay. I think that, you know, we're just seeing more people wearing them. And now that we have social media, people can share that more. So Maybe in the past people were wearing them, but no one really knew. Right. Um, and now everyone knows if you're like us and you post them 
all over the internet. So sure. I also think it. I, I assume it's also taking a little bit longer to get to some of the larger retailers because back in the 80s and 90s, there weren't as many competitors, right? We didn't have the internet. There weren't all of these uh, online stores that you could purchase from. And so I think there's just so many more competitors that they kind of start and see, yeah, are those becoming successful? And then they go full-blown mainstream. For sure. I mean, the more that the more that these online retailers and, and, and mainstream places sort of see that there is a pull because that's the, I mean, that's how they base what they're buying is yeah. they, they look at what is selling from other company. Every company works that way. You know, what is selling from these other companies? Okay. That's what we're going to start making. And if, if a company start a company like Haynes for the loom, Gildan, you know, any of these other brands sees, Oh, these other companies are making that, then they're going to start making it and trying to cash in on that. It's the same way the boxer briefs work. Nobody knew that people were buying boxer briefs until people started buying them. And so that's how we build sort of a base for songs and other revealing styles of undies. So. Yes, yes. And we are here to build that base. Correct. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so let's switch gears a little bit. It's summer. It's hot out. We are still trying to live our best summers despite covid so what's been kind of your go-to thong this summer? Do you have like one in particular? Well, currently, like literally at this moment, I am sitting here at an apartment pool complex um, wearing a skin fit thong. Um, <laughs> it's the sailor like white and blue. So if my, if my audio quality is terrible, it's because I'm sitting outside and my phone is charging. Um, but I'm literally sitting here in a, in a swim thong um, looking at, four other guys who are also in swim thongs. And so my go-to this summer has actually been the skin fit, which I really like. Mm -hmm. um, and then also the ErgoWare, ErgoWare X4D thong, which I've absolutely loved. I only stumbled upon that probably a month ago, and they're amazing. So I've got one on the way. I think it's going to okay. arrive this week. I am okay. super excited to try that one out. That should be amazing. So I have, yep. yes, I've heard good things. I'm ready to try it. Yep. Eric, what's been your go-to? Um, my go-to this summer, it, like you said, we're just trying to do the best we can with the cards that were dealt. So I did buy, I think, like four or five of the new swim thongs from end to end. Oh, yes. And, you know, I, I loved them. And then... I had placed an order for some um, swim thongs back at the end of April from P. Sidicus Wear, and I had kind of just given up on having them delivered because because of COVID, there was just huge shipping delays, and I had just completely forgot about it. But then, you know, no behold. I get a knock on my door and a package, and it's all the lovely superhero pattern thong swimwear that I was just waiting for. So that's what I've been wearing just about every time I go out in the pool, and I absolutely love it. It's The, the back's a little bit thinner than the um, brands that I was normally wearing, so it's kind of minimized my tan line just a little bit, but mm -hmm. en enough to, you know, still keep keep what I was going for. And, you know, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I love it. So you mentioned N2N. I have bought quite a few um, from them this summer because a lot of brands due to COVID didn't release a lot of new stuff this year. N2N has just been churning them out like no other. Um, and killing it with designs. So that's been one of my go-tos. But I've also been rocking my muscle skins uh, this summer, the sport back, a little bit wider, still very thin compared to a lot of other brands. And then Skin Fit too. Ryan and I actually have that same thong, the little sailor print, which I love. It's so cute. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, wish, I, I will say about this, this one, um, if for our listeners are going to order a skin fit in the skin thong order one size up than your normal size. I ordered a 
I ordered a large in the bulge thong and it was too big. So in the bulge thong specifically, order a size down. Not a size down. Order your regular size. Nothing. Bulge thong, order your regular size. Skin thong, order a size up. Okay. I did not have to order a different size. I kept the same. Okay. But I do like more of a tight fit. So I think okay. that's the other thing that's important for people. That's I always true. say, like, it depends how tight or loose of a fit you like. Because, yeah. I mean, if it's really tight against your taint, that's uncomfortable for some. Others, yeah. not a problem, right? Right. So... <laughs> Yes, that is good advice because you kind of have to play around. I also recommend for people when you're ordering from SkinFit, the shipping's a little much. So I like to buy in bulk from them. Yep. Like I, I make my list of like 10 things that I want. Yeah. But it's yep. so worth it. And I love the little shine. on. Uh, and there's so many colors to choose from that I'll end up spending so much money there. And I love it. So. <laughs> All right. Final question, boys. We've been talking for a little while here. What is catching your eye? Have you seen anything new, any new brands, anything that you're really excited about? Eric, anything new for you? Um, I actually did get a few new thongs this uh, earlier this week. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the Cell Block 13, their Kennel Club line. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so I got an email that I, I believe it was from cheap undies that they were they were like 10 bucks so i ordered one just to check it out and you know i loved it i love the fit i love the little puppy in the front of it um it's a little it's more of a uh a y-back uh g-string kind of instead of an actual thong because it's it's not really wide back there um but that that's really the the only new thing i've, I've tried recently only because i'm trying to trying to be an adult and save my money <laughs> instead of spending it all on <laughs> underwear and swimwear you're so responsible hey that does bring up a really good point a little tip i'll pass along to people if you are new to thongs i really love using cheap undies as a site to try brands i've never tried before because obviously they are cheap right? A lot of them are things that have been discontinued. And so it's a great way to try a brand you're not familiar with and get a feel for their fit without being out a ton of money. And then if you find that you like it, great, then you know what works for you. So good, good I'll, job on that side. I'll add to that, even though their they're brand, you know, the word cheap can can be misconstrued as being low quality. Uh, right. Cheap Undies is, is a company that they buy from the main, the major manufacturers when those main major manufacturers uh, discontinue something. Um, Cheap Undies buys in bulk from them and then passes on the savings to you. So you know a, a nasty pig speedo. Um, this isn't a, isn't thongs, but speedos, thongs, briefs, whatever. They cost sixty dollars. On cheap undies, will cost you ten. If you take that chance, you know I'm not saying wait from the major manufacturers to mm -hmm. buy your stuff because it very well could not end up at cheap undies because it could be sold off in clearance. It could be sold off somewhere else. But if, if there's something that you're like, oh, I like that, but I'm not willing to pay $60 for it, Cheap Undies might have it later. You never know. Um, yes. And it's sort of a gamble kind of thing. I agree. Anything catching your eye lately, lately Ryan? Brave Person um, just came out with a swim thong. And I think that they're, I haven't quite figured out Brave Person. I think that they're more of a Chinese brand. Um, uh you know, an overseas brand, I should say. Um, I don't know where they're made. But Brave Person has come out with a new swim thong that looks pretty cool. They have, they have a black, a gray, and a, like, maroon color that looks to be pretty great. Other than that, Jor, J-O-R, has come out with a camo swim thong that I like, along with some other ones, but they came out with those this this summer. It took it feels like it took them forever to come out with them. Um, but I really like those. The X4D thong is probably my favorite new thong to come out with. Uh, for any company, ErgoWear X4D, their swim thong is incredibly comfortable. It only comes in a couple colors, but I bought the white and I dyed it a different color, which made it you know possible for me to customize my thong. But 
I do like a thong with a print on it, so solid color isn't always the best. I think that pretty much sums it up there. All right. Well, I am super pumped then for my ergo wear to arrive this week. Yeah. I haven't had, like I bought, I think it was two summers ago. They had the, it was like half rainbow print, half black. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I absolutely love that one. I've worn that a lot this summer. So okay. if it's as comfortable as that, then I'm sure I will absolutely love that one as well. Oh, so. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I think it's about time to wrap this show up. I want to uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, audience, for listening. And please reach out to us if you love the show. We would love to talk to you whether it's through our DMs or even have you as a potential guest on the show. Sure. So let us know what you want to hear, and we will be delivering more of these every once in a while. So before we go, let's just wrap it up by letting people know where they can find you. Uh, Eric, why don't you go first? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at undiesgeek85. Perfect. And Ryan? Uh, I'm Thongtastic Ryan. Uh, sorry, I always say it as one word. It is Thongtastic, T H O N G T A S T I C <laughs> underscore R Y A N, Thongtastic underscore Ryan on Instagram. And then I also have a Reddit, uh, which is Thongbro. I think it's Thongbro, the number four life, L I F E, on Reddit. Perfect. And you can find me on Instagram at the scruffy gay. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll be back another time to talk more thongs.